Hi, everybody. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Olivia. Ooh, I said Aaliyah first. That's weird. So today, I, I had so much fun yesterday um, printing that book and coloring it and stapling it that I decided to do another one. So this book is interesting because it has um, some stuff going on. This is a book that helps you read. So this is a book for people that are learning how to read. And this book focuses on the sight word you, Y-O-U. So on every page where it says you, I have highlighted it. So you can just look at the word you and know that that is what it says. So you're reading, you're reading that one word at least, maybe even more. So this is a book about a lot of different ways that you can have uh, transportation. So here is the cover page. It's the name of the book is You Can Go. Here's the first one. You can go on a bike. This bike has two wheels. You can go in a car. You can go in a truck. You can go in a bus. You can go in a van. You can go in a plane. You can go in a train. You can go on a boat. Vroom! You can go. So that is the book. Pretty cool, huh? I colored it all by myself. I decided to, um, I like to use like all of my markers. So I try not to use like the same marker more than once. <laughs> but um, I got the grays for the airplane. I decided to do an orange car. And then this bicycle has got a lot of different colors on it. It's got purple wheels. Mm. And then here's the car. I made the car look the same in every picture because I felt like that's the way I should do it. And then I made the truck brown. Which I'm not super happy with that choice, but it looks kind of cool. A brown truck is a cool truck, right? And of course a bus is yellow. I mean, most of the time a bus is yellow, right? And I got super lazy with this one. I really like didn't even want to color this one. I don't know why, but I just wasn't into it. But I just colored the whole entire thing, even the windows and the tires and everything green. So it's a pretty color of green anyways. A little bit lazy with the coloring, but it's a good color. And then here's a bigger picture of the plane. This book calls it a plane, P-L-A-N-E, but I would call it an airplane. I don't know, I guess all planes are airplanes. Does that make sense? And then I really used up all my different colors on this picture of the train. That doesn't really look like any train I've ever seen, but it's very colorful. And then here's a boat with blue sails and a pink flag. And the last page looks just like the first page. Last page, first page. 
Last page. First page. <coughs> mm, pardon me. My throat got a tickle in it. You know what is good for that? Is to drink some tea. This is some hot tea. It's a very, uh, very big cup, too. Do you know what else would feel good on my throat? Is some jello. I've already eaten like two of the jellos, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and get a jello so you can see what the jello looks like after it's been in the fridge for a while. So I'm just gonna walk over here to the fridge. I'm gonna reach inside the fridge here. And there, recognize this. I put a little saran wrap on it. So I'm gonna take the saran wrap off. I'm gonna put it in my garbage can here. And don't worry, I won't I won't eat. I won't eat the jello for the video. That would be weird if I just sat here. Eating Jello for 20 minutes? Would that be fun to watch? Probably not. I don't think anybody wants to see that. But see now, you can tell that it's no longer a liquid because if it was a liquid, it would uh, pour out. So I'm kind of a, I'm, it's not super firm, but like see, see, it's not gonna come out because it's, it's Jello. It's wiggly jiggly Jello. And then I'll stick my spoon in here, and you can see Jello, 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 Jello. It is so wiggly. It's so wiggly and jiggly and delicious. But I'm not gonna eat it because that would be kind of gross to do that on a video. I have one box to open today, and. This is a very fun box. This is what is called a bark box. I don't know if Alexis can read that. B-A-R-K-B-O-X. Bark box. And a bark box is a thing that you get for your dogs. So it's, this box is secured with one piece of tape and I'm just, I got my fingernail under there, and I'm just kind of peeling it. I don't know if you can see. Peeling the, peeling the tape off. I think I've got, I think I've got it. Oh, I think, I got, I got most of it. I'm still kind of mess around with it. Bring it back up from the top, and then I got the whole piece of tape off. So now I should be able to open it. And they make these boxes on purpose so that they're fun to open. So when you open it, right away you see this. And it looks like some eyeballs peeping out of a, a door slot. And it says, what's the password, pal? So that's gonna give us a clue of what this box is about. So sometimes if there's like a secret club, like on TV or in the movies, there might be a secret club. So the people that go to the club, they might go up to the secret club and they knock on the door and then someone like opens a slot, you know, and they stick their eyes out like that. And they say, what's the password? And then, if you're a member of the secret club, you know what the password is. So you go ahead and tell them the password, which it could be something funny like rubber shoe. So the password is rubber shoe and they will open the door and let you into the secret club. But if you don't know the password, they won't let you in. I still don't understand the theme of this month's spark box, but that's what's going on here as I understand it. Now I'm gonna 
open it all the way. And there's like a whole story happening. So I have to have a whole CNC. It says, oh, well, it's a secret club. And this secret club is what we call a speakeasy. And a speakeasy is an old time place where people used to go to drink beer when it was illegal to drink beer. It used to be illegal to drink beer. Uh, there was a law and um, it was called prohibition. But we don't have that law anymore, but sometimes we like to think about the past and different laws we used to have in the past and, and uh, make stories about it. So this is a story about a night at the speakeasy. And then here's all the bottles of beer on the wall. And then it, sa it says, there are eight things hiding in the squeakeasy. Can you find them? See, they did a, there's a play on words because speakeasy is what this is about. But since these are dog toys, they're calling it a squeakeasy because dog toys squeak. So, there are eight things hiding. So it says Babe Ruff. So this is the list. Here's a list of things that it wants you to find. But that's kind of fun. I don't think, I'm just gonna guess that this is not interesting to you. Um, so here's some other stuff that's in the bark box. Here's an advertisement for Scoob, the new Scooby-Doo movie called Scoob. And then inside, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four different toys for the dogs. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeak these toys and maybe one of the dogs will come and try to take it from me. So this is called Pooch Hooch. And it's kind of, it sounds like it's got some plastic in it. You can hear the plastic, the dogs like that. And then if you squeeze it really hard, you can hear a squeak. And then it's got this little handle on it so you can fling it around on your finger. So that is, this is the pooch hooch. None of the toy, none of the dogs cared to, to have that toy. They're all kind of snoozing around. After I'm done looking at these toys, I'll, I'll we'll we'll look at all the dogs and we'll find Sancho too. So this right here is a a dog toy called Flo the Flapper. And in the 20s, during Prohibition, the women liked to wear these headbands with little flowers coming out. So she's also kind of got some plastic in her, but she's also got a, a squeaker. Ooh, that's, good. that's a louder squeaker. <gasps> Bodhi's looking at me. I'm going to um, pull this tag off and give it to Bodhi. Bodhi's right beneath me. So when we see Bodhi in a few minutes, we'll see if he still has Flo the flapper. <laughs> I just threw it on him. <laughs> Ooh, look, this reminds me of the toy that Alexis got for Easter. It's a bug. So this is a, this looks like a spider with uh, eight legs. There's two in the front and six in the back. And look at four eyeballs and then a red beanie and a goofy little face. This is just an adorable little dog toy. It's called Betty Bootlegger. And she's also got the plastic in here underneath like um, plastic wrap. And then I'm gonna squeeze her, see if she makes a squeak. Yep. She's definitely squeaky. Oh, and Judge is definitely interested. <laughs> See, Judge, he's really, he's like, what's that, Mommy? 
So I'm gonna pull the tag off and I'm gonna make it squeak. And then I'm gonna throw it. Oh, and then Judge went and got it. Look at him. He likes it. He just walked away with it. I think he wants to smell it and, and take some time with it. I don't know. I don't know how dogs think. Probably not like humans, so who knows? Who knows what he's doing? All right. So there's four all together, and this is the fourth toy. This is called Bubbly Bev. And this is a dog toy that is made to look like a glass of bubbly, or as we sometimes call it, champagne. So she's a very classy lady. Her name is Bev. That was my mother's name, Bev. So how about that? Her name was Beverly. So I'm gonna take this tag off and I've already got some attention of a dog here. See Claire down there? She just barked at us. I know Claire, do you love, ooh, this, ooh, that's a really hard squeaker. Do you want bubbly Bev? Uh oh, Judge is gonna take it. Judge has got it, uh oh. Judge took it. I still have that bootlegger one. I wonder, I wonder if um, Claire will want that one. Claire, do you want this one? You can, you can hold it by the, I think she just wants me to pet her. Here, I'll try to get Judge back over here. Here comes Judge. Judge. Do you want this toy, Judge O? Go get it! <laughs> He's my only dog that fetches. And then Bodie, we gave him Flo the Flapper, and there she sits on the ground, all neglected. Claire just wants me to pet her. Claire doesn't, Claire is not interested in getting any toys going in her life. She just wants me to pet her. I think, I think Yola is the same way. The Newfies aren't really super into toys. My girl dogs don't play with toys, but my boys play with toys. Boys and toys, that rhymes. Oh, so there's Judge. He's got Bubbly Bev. I'm gonna see about throwing it. Go get it! Wow! He's so good at playing fetch. Oops. Now he needs to rest. He needs to rest and chew on his toy for a while. Oh, maybe Bodhi is interested in the toys. He has the spider toy. Bodie, that's the coolest toy. You have good taste. <laughs> You'd rather have me rub your tummy, huh? Okay. Claire wants me to pet her too. Who's this? Oh, it's Yolo. All the dogs just are always around. <laughs> Yolo, you're so gross. <laughs> she likes to snort like a pig. <laughs> okay, let's go see if we can find Sancho. She is gonna be in the basement. And I'm gonna be quiet because grandpa's in the basement and he's taking a nap again. He loves to take naps. So I'm opening the gate here. There's the stairs. I'm gonna close the gate. I'm gonna latch it. Go down. It's pretty dark. 
there's no lights on. Oh no, we're going into the darkness. Okay, we're in the dark basement. <gasps> I hear the kitty. We found her right away. Do you think she was waiting for us? Hmm? You're a good kitty. You're a good kitty. You're a good kitty, Sancho. All right, well, we've checked in with all the animals and read a new book. So that seems like a good time to wrap things up. Alexis, Aaliyah, and Olivia, I love you very much. Have a great day. Bye.